Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're taking a look at Lost Epoch and this is the new game that actually came out literally on Feb 2024 it's been dubbed as the Diablo Killer which well technically kind of should set the premise of what the game is about it is pretty much like a W dub D D Diablo stuff you just uh, walk around loot stuff uh, upgrade your character and shoot more stuff well you know, kinda. I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to be positive here. So anyhow, I'm gonna leave the discussion, uh, is it or is it not a Diablo killer game to you, but uh, let's look at the just regular numbers and how the game runs. Now, when it comes to requirements, this game actually wants a minimum of GTX 1060 and a recommended GPU of RTX 3060. So pretty huge jump when you look at this. We're gonna talk about this a little bit in a more detail later on when it comes to the cpu the minimum cpu they want is an i5 2500k which honestly is not exactly a big requirement but the recommended cpu is an i5 6500 which to be fair is about four times more powerful than the i5 25 so all things aside we do have an i5 96k running stock and a 4070 ti and we're gonna try to get this game to run in 4k and see what happens so let's go for the settings and yeah to be fair interesting thing we're gonna be running on ultra preset first and foremost uh, full screen 4k native and looking at options this game provides it actually is a little bit more friendly than i would want to say diablo series are no vertical sync maximum frames are set to 300 let's see if we reach that no, we're not going to use any background FPS because we're not going to alt tabbing out. Shadow quality on ultra and we're going to use anti-aliasing on TA as a preferred option. You do have a couple of these. I would want to go with FXAA, but you know, if it's preferred, let's leave it at that. Grass density full, everything reflections, ambient occlusion, volumetric lightning, screen space reflections, and everything's on ultra here. So... I think we're good to go. Now we need to select the class, since I'm not expecting to play this game for a long time. I'm just gonna take something that dishes a lot of damage, I think this guy might be it. So let's go with our guy here and the game mode will be normal. So yeah, we're gonna do that. MSI is over here. Now technically I should have moved it over here during the gameplay. but. I can't do it without splicing the recording and as you know I kind of hate doing it but if I left it there you would not see the settings. It's a little bit of a compromise. So let's create the character and just jump in and see what sticks. In the beginning so, yeah. there was darkness. Only the terror, myself and the void. Obviously we're not going to watch the cutscenes. Um, you can do it in your own free time but there's no frames in the cutscenes, if you know what I mean. So, what do we have? We are here and on good old Diablo stuff. I must warn them before Rye We're just moving around with a mouse. Okay. We did win. Okay, so here's a little bit... Yeah, the, the controls are rather backwards in comparison to Diablo. Okay, so that's an attack. That's our skill, fair enough. And we don't have anything else, fair enough. So, we're pulling 8.7 gigs of video memory allocated and 12 gigs of RAM straight off the bat. So that is pretty impressive when it comes to it. But at the same time, the game actually looks pretty nice. CPU usage uh, kind of expected and we are above 60 frames and frame time is a little bit high to be fair. 13 seconds, well, well, 13 milliseconds. It's... It's kind of on the high side, really. I would kind of want to see 8 or 9, but then again, we do have uh, 96k only, so 6 threads, no hyper threading. Kind of what you would expect uh, to get. 
In the hands of the fallen messenger, you find a letter from the Keeper's Council and addressed to you. Our hero boy, as keepers, we have the wishes to destroy us and steal a terror's legacy. We okay, fair enough. Let's go somewhere in the most more dense area here. Yeah, talk about open world design. Right, anyway. Let's keep on moving here. Hey, stop burning me, that's not good. I don't like being burned. And it's not even dropping loot, what? Come on, armored phoenix. Cut me some slack. Great mace, let's see what we have. Two handed, so it's gonna be slow. Base attack, 0.924 melee. 12 fast, 10. Not worth the trade off. Path. Okay, fair enough. So far, even by recording in 4K and playing it, we're not dropping below 60. So that's good news. That means this game is pretty playable on... Even with not that strong of a CPU. Actually, it looks quite pretty in all honesty. Okay, what have we got? Still nothing. There should be an option for us to actually parry this, so that's... I don't know, may maybe... I'm weird, but I think we should be able to do something else. But then again, this this is just the beginning of the game, so... The Burning Forest, let's go! So yeah, as you can see, we're pulling now 8.7 gigs of video memory and 12 gigs of RAM, so... Yeah, the GPU usage has gone up slightly. I do believe it depends on the level we are at, but... At least for 4K on Ultra, I think you kind of need that. Bastard Sword. Okay. It's any good. 20! Absolutely. Hey. Oh, I see how it works. Okay, fair enough. Can you, like, equip it, please? What's going on with this? <laughs> For real? Dequip. Buster Sword. Equip. Oh, it's a two-handed one. Yeah, ah. I was being stupid. Right. Stand down or die. I thought I'm missing something. Yeah, they were fleeing. Fair enough.
you arrived? Was there a family? It was my mistake. They were cornered, and there were so many. I can handle Ospricks. I told them to stay back, to let me handle it. 42 frames while doing the cutscene, really? Are you also here for the peace talks? Good, because so am I. Name's Grail. Since we're both headed the same direction, I wonder which of us. Come, let me watch you fight. Oh, we're actually stuck at 42. Now oh, that's interesting. I wonder why. Okay. Let's see if the situation improves slightly down the road. So once the flames are introduced, we're dropping below 60, which is, you know, <laughs> hmm. I wouldn't want to say expected, but I can understand why. Also, the RAM usage has gone up significantly, uh, so yeah. Probably the ultra settings for this game with an i5 is not exactly the way you want to go, really. The more stuff is happening on a screen, the more delay there is, so... At the same time, you know, I would kind of prefer a little bit more 60-ish when it comes to it, but... This is still playable, but although not exactly, you know, in the best case scenario, to be fair. Probably medium to high mix would be the best, considering that everything that's NPC related will tank your CPU a little bit. And I'm looking at the CPU usage and it kind of says that we're... Not taxing out the CPU, but something tells me that we kind of are really, you know, end of the day. Okay, I got more skills now. Okay. Should have play, paid attention to that. I had to keep an eye on my health bar there. But anyhow, since you're not playing on hardcore, we are not dying that easily. At least it's not a permadeath, so that's good. I cannot do that. Go away, go away! Quite a few shortcuts there actually for us. Need to recover health a little bit. Ahead. Okay. Yeah, we're kind of high up there. 
Right, let's do the only normal thing I would usually do. Reflections can go on high, ambient occlusion can go on high, volumetric goes on high, screen on high, terrain can be there. And shadows on medium. Cross density reflections can be. Let's apply the settings, see what happens. And happens exactly what I expected. We are way above 60 frames now. And now even during the combat we should not actually be below 60 too much. It still might happen though. But I do believe this is more limitation of a CPU not having hyper threading. And picking up the extra workload rather than the game's issues in all honesty. But yeah, you kind of do want this game to run smoothly on at least around 60-ish I would want to say. This is just me being realistic, and even though this is, I would want to say, hack and slash loot, at the same time, you know, it, it kind of does feel way better now. So yeah, running on Ultra, I would want to say around 60-ish, below 60-ish at times, specifically if there's a lot of stuff going on, but... If you don't necessarily need that graphical eye candy or you're limited by the hardware i would say drop it down to high and medium you know specifically shadows for whatever reason shadows in majority of the games are the only reason that frames are being tanked at least with the 95 or 96k should i say so it's kind of like in my blood at this point to just disable shadows or set them to le very low because black is black end of the day you know when it comes to shadows it's not gonna get darker than that and I'm not gonna stop and appreciate every single shadow on the ground I mean end of it's just not gonna happen it's probably nice if you can so to say afford having everything cranked at all times in 4k but sometimes you do need to do or have some compromises so just being realistic here you know Obviously, some of you might say, hey, just overclock your CPU. Ah, that's not that's not happening. Right? It's also not helping in a, in, in a grand scheme of things. So, yeah. But this is more than playable, in all honesty. Like, everything that goes above 60 is welcome. Plus 10, plus 10. Okay. Let's push onwards. And see what happens. I can imagine what's gonna happen. We, we're just gonna stumble upon the keepers have proven difficult more enemies, but still. They're not guarding the ruins. They're traveling between them over and over. They must be moving with them. It'll be as simple as So here we have it. Quest completed, rewards, 40 gold, 20 experience. Confirmed, thank you. It's not safe to go back. Is this probably an interaction hub? Maybe you can get an upgrade or one. Or two or 20. Who knows? Let's press on. But yeah, I would want to say this is just a very quick jump into the game. I'm not exactly looking forward to play this because this, as you might have noticed, is not my cup of tea, but... I don't know, leave a comment down below, do you think this is a better game than Dab Diablo? Is it a Diablo killer? Because I've played Diablo 2, to be fair, and Diablo 1 when I was a kid. And it was a little bit, you know, slower paced. Kind of, you know, you had to plan stuff, you kind of had to pay more attention for the character leveling. It wasn't exactly this hack and slash. Because you could easily run into the enemy horde that you could not take on even if you wanted to. So, I understand that there's the difficulty scaling in this game is kind of normal and hardcore. And I do believe hardcore is a permadeath. Or you just lose the character and need to go back. But, I don't know. Numbers wise, I would want to say it runs fine. But, yeah, you might want to adjust your expectations with the i5-96K. And 4070 Ti and 4K because as you saw we were actually dropping down to the low 40s here 
Uh, now currently with a mix of high and medium, specifically when it comes to shadows, we are not even close to 60. So end of the day, you know, in 4K, if you're playing on a TV, like I am, and you have a controller, you just want to go go and have fun at it, I would want to say, go for it. Anyway, that's just my very quick benchmark run of this game, just to see what the fuss is about, and I can see why this is enticing. You know, you, you do a lot of things in a very short amount of time, and it does feel kind of relaxed at times, because Diablo wasn't exactly relaxed, uh, if I may say so. But yeah, I don't know. It is how it is. It's not bad. I think it's actually definitely there's quite some potential in this game. You can explore it. So yeah. Grail was just telling me of one of two. Yes, Balthus and I remain. Balthus is busy checking. Even now, could you? They can. Sure, I do. Do this, and our alliance is secure. We'll lend our aid to Heoboria's army. Yeah, that's how you do dialogues. At least how I do dialogues. But yeah, we're back into the actual place. Obviously, I skipped over pretty much all the possible skill trees, weapon upgrades and everything else. That is something you guys need to do yourself. But outside of that... Excuse me, wine crawler, would you mind? I would say in the meantime, even with these settings, the game looks pretty damn nice. And it runs good. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Over and out.